So I'm going to be honest. I didn't really think we would be talking about this uh, again today. But look, when things are out there about the next Nintendo platform, I want to make sure that we're on top of that coverage and giving you the latest news. You guys probably know over the last couple of days about that 4chan post that had all this exact detailed information correct, claiming to be a developer, uh, working with the Pokemon company on Scarlet and Violet DLC, and specifically mentioning that there is going to be a graphics update patch releasing with DLC Part 2 that's going to be for a new Switch model. Now, all of this seems pretty good. Uh, what we want to know, though, is there anyone else who's heard anything at all? Any of the insiders who have a good track record and we have an update today from none other than jeffrey grubb uh who turned out was correct that the metro prime remaster existed just nintendo decided to shadow drop it instead of announcing it ahead of time but what are you gonna do uh he already shaved his head <laughs> to uh to, to eat the crow on it not coming out last year that being said uh we have some words from him on this thing that are very very positive for people that are on team 2023 or early 2024. Let's dive into this after I remind you that we are on our road to 100,000 subscribers. If we hit 100,000 by the time Tears of the Kingdom comes out on May 12th, we're going to give away a collector's edition of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, the art book, the steel book, uh, the poster, right? That, that box, it's beautiful. That's what we'll give away if we hit 100K. So why not hit subscribe today and let's get into this video. So Jeff Grubb has his show he does on his channel with Mike Miniati, uh, where they are called The Last of the Nintendogs. That's the name of the show. It's like a daily news podcast thing that they do. And in there, they talked about the Pokemon leak from 4chan. And he mentions that he honestly thinks that it looks like the Pokemon leak is pretty legit. Like, it's pretty hard to argue against anything said in it because how exact it was. It wasn't one of those you know, sort of leaks that happens on 4chan or elsewhere where it was very vague and, you know, you just got lucky or something, you know, where it's coincidence. Exact name of the actual DLC was in there. Exact name of Pokemon. Exact descriptions of things you're going to see. So it was so exact, it's pretty hard to deny that whoever this was had direct knowledge. Now, whether or not they're actually a developer, I don't know, but that's what Jeff Grubb said is that it seems like it's true. But he also went on to say this. A graphics improvement patch to go along with a new Switch. I mean, part of me buys into that because I think a lot of games are gonna need to have patches to work sure. with the new Switch one way or the other. So why not do why not do upgrades at the same time? But um, I don't know. This is, uh, it is just kind of almost more frustrating than anything, than anything else to hear this yet again, hear more evidence that a new Switch is happening yet again. Uh, I, I will say like, unconfirmed i haven't been able to verify it this is like i'm once again hearing yes later this year for and i that's don't oh, go no. write your headlines please because it's like i can't verify it so you would just be going on a rumor of a rumor um but, but it's like man why do things have to start lining up in that direction yet again because it, it you know I, it feels like nintendo doesn't even necessarily know i think they do know they will one day have some sort of switch follow-up so why wouldn't the pokemon company get this game ready because they're, they're going to want to keep selling this game on that system as you can see, uh, he's not saying that this is like a verified thing that he's heard from a bunch of different sources. It's a down the grapevine. So a person who's heard from a person who's heard from a person. Obviously, it's a rumor from his end, and he wants it treated as such. So this isn't something that we're going to go, Jeff Grubb said that we're getting it this year or something. It's just something that he's actually started to hear murmurs on Nintendo announcing it at least this year. Now, he does later go on to say that there's a 45% chance that it could release this year. What's interesting about the 45% chance is he was actually making a reference to Fire Emblem. And it's interesting because uh, in Fire Emblem, the whole... 45% chance of an enemy hitting you thing or 45% chance the enemy is going to crit you. It's almost like a 90% chance. It's sort of an ongoing joke with Fire Emblem uh, on how it handles its percentages in the battles and stuff that like the 45% never actually feels like it's 45%. It's almost a guaranteed every time uh, and seems like it's more of a hit than like 90% uh, chance in other games. It's crazy. So anyway, it's kind of a, a, an in-joke with Fire Emblem to mention 45%. But the point is that obviously he has started to hear 
that it being released this year is starting to become possible again. Now, he does note, of course, as you heard in that clip, that, hey, look, we've been down this road before uh, about hearing about things possibly happening and coming. Uh, so he, he's not really trying to act like he knows anything concrete here, and he's very clear about that. So want to be clear there that we shouldn't just, like, if it doesn't happen this year, oh, no, Jeff Grubb was wrong, let's pile on him. Very obvious here that this isn't something that he's certain on at all. But it is interesting that he's starting to hear some stuff. Uh, if other people like uh, Nate the Hate and others start to hear some stuff as well, it just gets even more interesting. Uh, the Game Developers Conference is coming up soon as well. Uh, and usually people that happen to have the dev kits that are working on things for later this year uh, will start to talk to other developers. So some stuff could come out of there as well. Look... Whether we like it or not, there's going to be a new system coming from Nintendo in the next 18 months. It's going to happen. Uh, we're in unprecedented territory. Nintendo said that they are aware they're in unprecedented territory uh, with year seven of the Nintendo Switch coming up. And you mentioned, you know, trying to do things uh, in an unprecedented way. And right now, you know, dropping Tears of the Kingdom and still releasing a brand new system in the same year while Tears of the Kingdom was for the prior platform, for Nintendo, that's unprecedented. For PlayStation, that's normal. They'll drop Ghost of Tsushima and The Last of Us Part Two in the final year of PlayStation 4 with PlayStation 5 already announced and coming out. But Nintendo doesn't do that. They don't release major games like Tears of the Kingdom in the same year they're releasing new hardware and not, like, delay it for that hardware. Like, and, hey... New Harbor is coming. Why not just delay the thing six months? But that's unpre that's the, that that could be what he meant by unprecedented. Like Nintendo's trying something different. Instead of letting Switch momentum die, here's a brand new major game, system selling type game. Because we're going to keep the Switch momentum going until we're ready to, to to reveal this thing. That that would be unprecedented for Nintendo. Uh, but again, this is obviously just speculation at this point that that's what they're doing. We don't know. We could still get no new system this year. Uh, technically DLC part two releases winter. I know they said winter 2023 winter really begins on like officially on December 25th. So unless they're releasing it in like the last week of the year, it's highly likely DLC part two is probably coming early, uh, 2024. If we're, if we're just being honest, but who knows? Uh, we'll, we'll have to wait on that. Uh, we know the eShop listing, by the way, for April, April's actually not winter. I'm not really sure why it says April. It would make more sense if it was, you know, January, February, even March. But what are you going to do? The listings are what they are. They're probably massively movable all around because there isn't actually an exact release date for the DLCs yet. Just seasons, fall and winter. So I don't know. You guys take this for what you will. Let me know your thoughts on this down below. Do you think this adds any more fuel to the fire? Obviously, I think it adds something. It, mean, it means that somebody who isn't claiming to be a developer breaking NDA, uh, well, I mean, clearly proving that they're breaking NDA in some sort of way with the knowledge they had, yeah, it, it is out there talking. So I, we'll see what happens. I really, really kind of want this to be a thing. I think this lines up very well for Nintendo if a new Switch is coming this year. And I know some of you guys, I read all the comments, some of you guys are like, can we stop? It's another year of this. God. Like, it's never going to stop, guys. Like, let's just, let's just be frank, okay? We're entering the seventh year of Switch. If you thought people were going to stop talking about Nintendo's next system, when it's going to come, stop hearing things, uh, you're crazy, man. Like, we're, we're obviously at the point that we absolutely should be having these conversations. You can argue a couple of years ago, maybe we shouldn't have had them. You can argue whatever you want. You can, you can say you're sick and tired of it. But this is the time now where it actually sort of feels like, okay, sixth anniversary coming up. It's about time to start having these conversations. So we're having them. We're going to continue this conversation tonight on the Nintendo Prime Podcast at 8 p.m. Central Time. I hope to see all of you guys there. I am Nathaniel Rufflejance from Nintendo Prime, and I will catch you in that next video.